Hello ladies and gentlemen, 20th August which is exactly one month from now till 28th November. 20th August to 28th November, quite long time, Jupiter will transit into the zodiac sign, no, nakshatra of Mrigsira. Mrigsira as you know is the nakshatra ruled by the planet Mars. <laughs> Mrigsira represents the search for divinity. Or materialistic pleasures either ways all right so which means the houses that jupiter lords in your chart as per your ascendant lagna rising sign not moon sign not sun sign not this sign that sign your ascendant rising lagna all right that is the only sign that you need to look for and today we'll discuss what will happen for every ascendant but before we go to transits always remember first look at the chart then dashas and then transits don't go other way round. All right. Thank you so much. And let's start now with Aries. And as usual, if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him when Jupiter enters Mixira or even now when Jupiter is in Rohini. All right. So, Horse always, Aries Lagna, Aries Zodiac sign, Aries Ascendant. This transit, as you know, is in your second house. And this transit will aspect your sixth house and then your eighth house and your tenth house, which means this is a fantastic time for financial growth, to find new opportunities to increase your wealth, new opportunities to improve your status, income sources, multiple sources of income, income from the stock market, income from uh, different sources like, you know, cryptocurrency, for example. And what you need to do is also along with wealth, you need to focus on your diet and your mental well-being because the second house is the house of your self-worth. Okay, so whatever is your conception of self, that is something which you need to redefine and you need to ask yourself, what am I doing in life? And then in terms of family, it's a great time to get married if your dasha is indicating the 2nd, 7th or 11th or to enhance meaningful uh, relationships with your loved ones and go and have a nice time, go to some vacation, you know, second house mrikshira, typical family vacation. And uh, in terms of your family values, you also need to learn about financial management and make sure that you are aware of uh, family values when you are talking of financial management, you know, for example, in somebody in your family, uh, maybe a bit conservative and they want to invest only in uh, fixed deposits. <laughs> and somebody is like a Gen Z who wants to put all their money into some meme coin or penny stock. So beware and try not to go to the other extremes, okay? And in terms of hobbies, you know, it's a great time to do research. Your eighth house is receiving the aspect. And also because the 6th and the 8th receives the aspect, so you need to be a bit careful with your health. There could be some issues or requirement of surgery if not taken care of. And you could learn cooking, you know, you can deepen your existing spiritual connections. And at the end, most importantly, this is a period where you can go to the next level in your profession. Okay, so primarily your focus should be on your health, your profession, your family values and going and having a good time with your families and investing your money. All right. So wish you all the best, Aries Ascendants. <clears throat> now we go to Taurus Lagna. This transit is in your first house. From there, he aspects your fifth, seventh, and ninth, right? All the trines receive the aspect of Jupiter. So in terms of career and wealth, this is a fantastic time to find your purpose in life. And Try and see if you can merge your uh, purpose into your profession somehow or your profession into your purpose somehow, all right? So you could take personal initiatives to get recognition in your family. There could be some travels and uh, when you go uh, there, you might get some name and fame. Also, your body, your vitality might need a boost, okay? So during this transit, it's essential that you Stay away from alcohol, okay? Make sure of our house, alcohol, addictions, mm, be a, beware, okay? And you need to improve your fitness and your. Uh, you need to focus on your self-improvement, uh, improvement of your thought process, okay? Very, very, very important. Now, 
in terms of your love life, you can develop, you know, extreme charm and attraction, you know, or somebody charming might charm you. <laughs> and there could be potential for an upcoming relationship provided the dasha is agreeing, all right? And in terms of uh, children and family, you need to inspire uh, creativity and enthusiasm in your children and encourage their growth. And if you don't have children, maybe it's also a great time to have children, okay? Now, in terms of hobbies and spirituality, it's a great time to pursue uh, growth activities, especially when it comes to your hobbies. Do something creative, you know, some dancing, singing, painting, cooking, arts, whatever, you know, or mountain, rock climbing, whatever, whatever inspires you. And also, it's a great time to seek for philosophical beliefs and see what what actually uh, inspires you so you can learn about different philosophies, take guidance from your mentor and thereby make the best use of this period because this is the period where you will get tremendous guidance if required. So maybe you, if you have not talked to your mentor in a while, maybe it's a, time, it's a good time to have a one-on-one -on -one chat. All right. <laughs> All right, Aries. Take care. Great period for you. Make sure you don't indulge in alcohol and yeah, do your, take, focus on your hobbies, focus on your health and focus on learning and upgrading yourself. Your life will be the best, all right? All the best, Taurus. Now we go to Gemini. So for Gemini, this transit is in your 12th house. Mm -hmm, 12th house. From there, Jupiter aspects your 4th, 6th and the 8th house. Interesting. So all the houses of research have got activated, Okay. So in terms of career and wealth, you know, there could be opportunities in your foreign lands or, you know, behind the scene uh, scenes, you could take, take up some role which is not so much in the limelight. There could be some expenses, nonetheless, because all the three Dusana houses are active. So there could be some, you know, surprises in your life. <laughs> So there could be expenses in regards to now. This will depend on your dashas. You know, if your dashas are not good, then there could be, you know, some legalities, you know, some court proceedings and all this, you know, worst case. Or if your dashas are indicating bad health, so you need to make sure that you are doing the proper checkups when it comes to your health, okay? And the good thing is uh, you will do very good spiritually because now you need to be disciplined and you need to find your purpose in life because when 12th house gets activated you might feel that you know you're kind of losing in life <laughs> but it's not that you are actually having a loss but it's just the feeling that you know you are behind in life everybody is ahead of you especially with mrikshira this can happen okay so if this is happening then you need to understand that you should not hop from one thing to the other, okay? So, be aware of addictions and, uh, yeah, prioritize your mental health, rest, fitness, uh, relaxation, avoiding stress. These are very important, okay? Now, in terms of your love life, uh, yeah, there could be some challenges because the sixth house is receiving the aspect. But nonetheless, you need to understand that these are times when your true loyalty and your true commitment is tested, okay? So, take this as a testing time. And uh, in terms of interactions with your family and children, you know, maybe you should take off some time and have some trips with your children or with your family members. Maybe you can find a bit of yourself in them, all right? And in terms of hobbies and spirituality, yeah, you need to like, enjoying meditation okay you need to like to do meditation enjoy doing meditation uh, and different kind of other spiritual practices other solitary activities you know try to uh, do something in silent and try to see what the universe is trying to tell you that by that way you will develop deep spiritual insights okay so especially for gemini be careful with this transit although uh, although you are already having this transit but Nonetheless, it's always good to be careful and be super careful when you travel. Make sure your visa is there, you have your passport, travel allowances, you know, don't forget to take travel insurance, all right? Please take travel insurance when you travel, all right? Thank you, Gemini. I wish you all the best. Now we go to Cancer. 11th house transit comes up 
and from there Jupiter aspects your third, fifth, seventh. So you could look around, you could search, you know, the dear Mitsida is going on searching. Yeah, networks that lead to career advancements and financial growth through social connections. In terms of health, you could stay active and also you could do group activities, you know, to maintain your well-being. In terms of love life, you might develop new love relationships or maybe this is a period to take your love life, your relationship to the next level and get married, okay? Uh, this is a fantastic time for you to finally make that decision. And then in terms of your overall well-being, this is maybe the best time to look for well-being, okay? What do I mean by look for well-being? Now, many times we want well-being, but well-being does not come naturally. So, whenever Mrixida is involved, you you have to search, my dear sir, madam. You you won't get without searching. Okay, so therefore, search for happiness, search for enlightenment, search for new friends. Okay, very 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 important. Now, you might have lot of social interactions and group activities for your children. Also, that is great. And you should start doing, uh, enjoying some sports, you know, team-based hobbies and find meaning in social circles and also in your community service, okay? So try to do some seva and, you know, yeah, try to give some donations and, yeah, try to see how you can help everybody around you, okay? This is very, very, very important cancer. Don't forget it. So overall, this is a great time for socializing and finding your purpose in life and being the best version of yourself. Now your time is supportive. So go and make the best use of this time. Don't think of any pessimistic scenario. Be optimistic and you will shoot the target. All right. All the best cancer. Now we go to Leo Lagna. So Leo Lagna, it's in your 10th house. 10th house is the mid haven where the sun is at it's peak, right? Which means now you also have a chance to be at your peak. <laughs> so from the 10th, Jupiter aspects your 2nd, 4th and 6th house. And then in terms of your profession, this is the best time. So there could be significant advancements and recognition in your profession, which could lead to massive financial gains. Okay, so if you want a promotion, search for it. Mirksira means you have to look for it. You have to search for it. You have to apply. Nobody will come for you. Somebody might also come searching for you. <laughs> but don't expect that. Okay. Now, you need to maintain a healthy work-life balance to ensure that, you know, you are actually advancing in life and not just advancing in your profession because this is a very big misconception people have you know just when somebody is financially or professionally successful we say oh this person is a success all right but measuring success should be holistic not just professional okay and then in terms of your love life uh, yeah it would be that your spouse is complaining that you are uh, becoming a workaholic <laughs> because the sixth house also receives the aspect so you need to work hard, but try to balance uh, your ambition and your family, okay? Otherwise, there could be troubles in your family life. This is a warning from my side for Leo Lagna people. And there could be trips because of your business. So this is typical. And now, in terms of your hobbies, you know, you, you could try to engage in activities of learning and not just superficial hobbies, okay? So... Uh, try to learn something, try to upgrade yourself professionally and try to seek fulfillment, you know, primarily through your career ambitions. So try to do some certification, try to go to some networking event, try to connect to somebody who is much more experienced than you and you will do very good. All right. So best time for you, Leo, put all your fire in the profession, but don't ignore your family and your spouse. All right. Take care, Leo. All the best. Now, Borgo, this is in your ninth house. What is the ninth house? From there, he aspects the, the first, the fifth, and the third. All right, very, very, very. So, first, third, and fifth house, all the three are receiving aspects from the ninth. And, you know, Jupiter's transit in the ninth is one of the best or maybe the best placements. <clears throat> so, you might go and search, you know, Mrixida is searching. You might look for some opportunity for doing, you know, master's or PhD. You know, there could be work-related travels. You know, there could be financial gains through 
long distance ventures you could have health benefits through you know outdoor activities so you could involve yourself into sports and travel experiences for your well being this is very important you could learn a new new language or you know new culture you know you might meet new people from different backgrounds excellent opportunity there could be short distance trips you know short distance travels now now there could be you know a new love relationship which could come for you uh, but um make sure you uh, don't indulge in you know infidelity adultery because fifth house receiving the aspect from rixira can give you this tendency to you know hop on from one person to other so don't do it be within your morals and do not forget to follow the codes of the shastras all right very 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 important and also it's a great time to explore your relationship with your children you know your education and uh, basically try to bring up your hobbies okay very 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 important and you could also indulge in social media <laughs> you know by pumping out youtube videos shorts and you know articles in linkedin so it's a great period where you can you know actually enjoy expressing yourself all right so enjoy traveling explore new cultures and grow by learning different philosophies and languages okay wish you all the best virgo now for libra this is in the 8th house a tough one <laughs> from the 8th it aspects the 12th even tougher and the second good fourth average all right so what is this transit this transit for libra you know there could be opportunities in terms of research and you know there could be opportunities in occult sciences there could be gains through inheritance and investments okay very 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 important for libra inheritance investments okay and then in terms of your health you must focus on your mental health okay you must focus on doing transformative practices which are very essential for your spiritual growth okay and in terms of love life you know there could be very intense relationships okay intense in the sense you know there could be some issues it could be plus minus there could be some drama and it could be like you know <laughs> you are not able to hold on to someone nor you are able to leave that person okay so it could happen that relationships go for a toss temporarily but uh, don't worry it's not for eternity all right and now your relationships uh, that are existing already could undergo some transformation like for example you might look to you uh, your spouse or your family members in a different way okay now in terms of hobbies you know you could pursue reading or learning more about psychology about astrology mysticism you know and other profound spiritual sciences okay these things will actually help you find the meaning of life okay and because the 12th house receives the aspect along with the second house so make sure you are eating well don't forget to keep a check on your diet and stay away from addictions okay especially alcohol and you will do fine all right but make sure that you keep some funds aside for emergencies because this is a tough transit for you there could be things which might need need your urgent attention so don't keep yourself too busy you know don't be neck to neck you know like you have you have no money in your bank you know like just for a week <laughs> that's not good okay so take help from your family members uh, in laws your friends you know anybody if required but make sure you take calculated risks and don't go all in all right wish you all the best libra now scorpio ascendant scorpio lagna this transit is in your seventh house from there he aspects the lagna and the third and the 11th fantastic transit this is brilliant there could be growth through partnerships there could be growth through collaborations you know gains through business ventures fantastic period this is for growth in any area of life you know not just your profession or not just your marriage but any area of life okay is a fantastic period and so try to do things together you know maybe you are good as a individual contributor but you need to now become a good team player a okay? very 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 important now you should also focus on your health because the first house receives the aspect 
So focus on maintaining, you know, balance and try to have harmony within relationships. Very important. Along with that, you need to strengthen your existing relationships, okay? And you need to understand that teamwork is essential and social interactions have a purpose. So, Scorpio, you might be meeting a lot of people, but you need to understand that it is better to meet one genuine person than to meet, you know, a hundred superficial people, okay? Which means... Nothing wrong in meeting people, but at times, you know, you may feel so drained out. Oh my God, I'm meeting this, 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 him, her, so many people. You know, I'm meeting this group, that group. But what is happening at that? I'm not able to find myself, okay? So whenever you are going to any networking event or any social circle, don't focus on the quantity. Focus on the quality, okay? Which means if you go to an event, maybe you just make one connection, genuine connection, and that person becomes your best friend. Or you uh, fall in love with that person and you marry each other later on. Or you <coughs> you uh, get a great career opportunity from them, okay? And you become lifelong kind of, you know, business partners. Okay? Or if not lifelong, at least for a long period of time. So, therefore, focus on the quality of your social interactions and it will be excellent. Okay, so go out and have fun with your partner. And uh, yeah, this is a time where both of you, husband, wife, can do something together, okay? So try to do some uh, spiritual practices together. Try to understand each other and try to communicate your expectations properly, okay? This is very, very, very essential, right? So Scorpio, great time for you. Focus on networking events. Focus on yourself and focus on communication and your married life, all right? Wish you all the best, Scorpio. Thumbs up. Take care. Now we go to Sagittarius. Danu Lagna. Sagittarius Ascendants. What is going on? This is in the 6th house. <laughs> Which is the house of Shadaripus. The 6th Anarthas. Okay, so be very careful with your health. And especially with your eating habits. Okay, because Mriksira has a bad habit of eating or drinking things that they should not, all right? So, be mindful of what you are eating um, and also be mindful of what you are doing professionally because when Mrixira energy is involved in the sixth house, you might have a temptation to just keep trying out different things, you know, which does not make sense, but you are still doing it because that gives you a good reputation in your profession, which is not wrong. But you need to understand that before you diversify, you have to go deep down into one thing. If you cannot master one thing, then yeah, it's it is difficult to master others, okay? So therefore, it is very important that you understand that hard work is essential, but hard work guided in a proper direction is even more essential. Now, you also need to focus on your health and your discipline. So discipline is at most so please put a timer on every day you know install some app which tells you you know which monitors you know what time you slept when you slept how long you slept and by that you will be able to know what you are doing in life okay now in terms of your love life there could be some challenges sixth house disagreements you know battles <laughs> and if you are a parent you need this is the time you should teach discipline to to your kids. Sorry, okay. And you need to work hard, not only for them, but with them also. So don't preach things which you don't practice yourself. Because if you do that, then mm, your, your children will say, Papa, Mama, you are not doing this. Why should we do? Okay. So, therefore, this is a great period where you can actually uh, understand your relationship with your children. And also make them do what you do. Not because you think it is right, but because it is the right thing to do. Okay. So therefore, in terms of hobbies, please develop a proper fitness routine and do spiritual practices regularly and diligently. And stick to one thing for the sake of the heavens. All right. And for your sake, stick to one thing in terms of your profession and go deep and you will do fantastic. All right. Wish you all the best, Sagittarius. <clears throat> now we go to 
Capricorn, 10 number sign Capricorn, but this transit is in your fifth house. <laughs> 10 by 2, 8th from the 10th is the fifth house, right? Very, very interesting transit. One of the best transits because from the 5th, the 1st and the 9th and the 11th receives the aspect. Fantastic. This is thumbs up Capricorn. Brilliant position. Make the best use of this period. Nothing much to say here, but understand that Brixilla energy in the 5th house can make you indulge in too many things, okay? Especially, you know, if you are in a relationship, it can give you tendencies to, you know, look for somebody else when you are already in a relationship. That is not good, all right? So be careful with that. And in terms of creativity also, it's positive, but also the challenge is that you are, you know, like hopping from too many, uh, hopping to too many different projects, you know, without completing anything. Okay. So, therefore, you should understand that you will lose respect in society if you, if you just hop on from one thing to the other. Okay. So, therefore, there could be gains through creative projects and also speculation like, you know, stock trading and investing, uh, swing trade, rate trade, and all this. And uh, you could also enjoy leisure activities, which can help you to maintain your long-term well-being. You could also enter into hospitality sector, you know, like uh, doing Airbnb for a part of your house or something like that, okay? Now, if you are already in a relationship, it's a great time to focus on your existing love life, okay? And then uh, you should try to do something creative together, okay? Very, 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 very essential and uh, it will help you to understand each other more better, okay? Now, if you are married and if you plan to have children and your dasha supports for both the husband and the wife, then this is a very good time where, you know, you can get married, have nice vacation with your spouse and also with your children, it's a great time to move and you know understand each other have a nice vacation with your children also nonetheless your ninth house also receives the aspect so capricorn no matter whatever what happens during this transit you might search for different things you know different religions different philosophies different gurus different traditions but you have to realize at the end you have to commit to one path okay you can explore for the next 100 years nothing wrong in that but there will be a time where you will have to uh, settle and you have to choose a path and remain true to it, all right? So Capricorn, explore different paths, be more creative, spend time with your children, with your loved ones and understand that eventually I will have to commit to something or somebody, all right? Thank you so much, Capricorn. Wish you all the best. <laughs> now we go to Aquarius, number 11. Transit in the 4th house, alright? And from there he aspects the 8th, 10th and the 12th, okay? Dustana house is receiving the aspect. Oof! So in terms of career health, there could be opportunities which come in terms of, you know, home, real estate, land, you could buy land, you know, you could sell your property. There could be financial gains through property and family assets, okay? Very, very, very important, very important this period is. And there could be gains, you know, through uh, learning different things about human emotions like psychology and, you know, uh, trying to have a good environment in your home, okay? So, uh, maybe cooking is also something that you can explore, home sciences, you know, interior design, these are things which you can do. Brilliant, okay? <clears throat> Antique pieces, you know, you can buy and you can keep them in your home. People will really love it when they come and see it in your home. Uh, but don't buy it to impress people. Buy it because you love, if you love, and then also people will appreciate that. And also, your love life, uh, this is a great time to strengthen your bonds, okay, with your loved ones. You could also do some business of vehicles, okay, or you might buy a new vehicle during this time. And uh, this is a period where you should start to enjoy home-based activities, okay. So, focus on your family time and... Uh, yeah, this is a great time to evolve through different uh, spiritual practices within your family. So maybe it's a time where you do, you know, like uh, Bhagavad Sapta in your home. 
or maybe for the next 30 days you take a vow that we will chant Vishnu Sasanam every day together, all right? Or Rama Raksha Stotra, Gajendra Moksha Stotra, all these things you can do. Okay? Excellent period. The great search begins, okay? But don't forget, Mixira represents that deer who has that uh, fragrance within himself but is unable to find it and therefore is, you know, moving the entire world. So, it can happen that whatever you are looking for is already within you and inside of your own house, but you are not aware of it and you are, you know, going around looking in different places, okay? So, this is a great time for you to focus on your family and your home and learn different things which you can use in your profession because the 10th house also receives the aspect, all right? So, this is a great time for real estate research, education and exploration and maybe also learn occult sciences, all right? All the best, Aquarius. Now, last but not the least, Pisces Lagna. This transit is in your third house and from there he aspects your 7th, 9th and 11th house. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, this is one of the best transits. Third house, there will be growth in you know, communication related jobs, you know, travel opportunities, financial gains through networking. It's a great time to become a YouTuber <laughs> or a Instagram uh, sensation or a or LinkedIn Twitter icon. <laughs> Only thing is you need to be a bit focused because the third house shows displacement and Mrixira is further displacement. So, you might be a bit confused, not because you don't have anything, or but because you have too many things to do. All right, so Pisces ascendance. If you have too many things in your plate, then maybe it's a good time to narrow down and see what is good for you. Okay, otherwise, what happens is you are just going around exploring different things, but you are not commit to anything. Okay, so because of that. You will feel the struggle, the pressure, the pain, okay? So, therefore, try and do things in a way which can actually empower you and, you know, you can learn different technologies, learn different skills and uh, indulge in, you know, self-development. Nothing wrong with it. And in terms of fitness, uh, you need to focus more on your mental fitness because your mind may be wavering from here, there, okay? So, try to strengthen your relationships with, with your siblings and also with your friends and neighbors, colleagues, acquaintances. And uh, maybe you can involve yourself with, you know, some new skills or learning hobbies with your children. You know, this is a fantastic time actually to do that. Okay. So, writing, speaking, video editing, spiritual growth, communication, travel, all this is your portfolio now. So, Pisces Ascendance. Learn to express yourself now. Learn more about others and about yourself. Network and make the best use of this period. Alright. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Jai Shri Ram.